Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Z. Today we're reading for, who I got left? Earth and Fire. I'm gonna do fire right now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. All right, if you try to ask someone making more videos to book a private reading with me or shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. All right, all right, let's get it. Let's get into it. What's going on with the fire signs? What's going on with the fire, son? Let's see. P, somebody's perspiring a lot, like sweating a lot, okay? You may have to get that under control. That might be like an underlying condition that you may have that you're not aware of. But it's like someone is just profusely sweating, all right? Somebody feels really stumped. This is the letter S. They feel really stumped in a situation. I hear baffled, B. Somebody feels very baffled within a situation. So we have perspiring, sweating a lot. Somebody feels stumped and somebody feels baffled by a situation. Why do they feel baffled, stumped, and perspiring a lot? <laughs> baffled. <laughs> Shocked, <laughs> perspiring. Listen, I can't make this shit up. Nine of swords. Somebody has deep insomnia. They have a lot of fear, a lot of nightmares. Somebody's in their head. That's why they sweating a lot. And I mean sweating to the point where you was like, dang, you, you need a towel. Like, you need a whole towel with you, like, all the time. This person's always sweating. It's always um drenched they're shocked and they baffled and this is causing them to be causing them to have nightmares what are they baffled and stumped by i heard use this deck they baffled and stumped by communication Plus one. So if you see here, 41, four plus one, if you break it down, equals to five. Five represents changes. So there's been a change or a shift within the communication, which has this person, person very baffled and shocked and sweating a lot. This is why they're in this energy of uh, the nine of swords. If you can look and see, um, this person is crying, but <laughs> a lot of nightmares that's going on here. What happened in this communication that has them baffled and stumped, though? Y'all not telling me. Somebody beating around the bush. They won't come out and just say it. Because someone is not taking forward or they're not moving forward or they're not taking the initiative to speak up. So it's two people here. One person is saying how they feel, but the other person is not. Motion card is in reverse. Someone is just very lackluster. Like, oh, okay, whatever. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, will be, will be. They're like, they're in this I don't give a F type energy. We have cross pollinate here. Three represents mind, body, and soul. Energy. Energy. Cross pollinate energy. Cross pollinate energy. Let me see some. Cross pollinate. Cross. Okay, so the definition of cross pollination is when something grows or is stimulated by the introduction of a different element. So something was stimulated by different element this communication created something cross pollinate created something new which ended with this person being having lots of nightmares 
And this is why they may be in motion. I mean, or, sorry, this, this could be a reason why they're not in motion, okay? Um, they're in their head a lot. They're baffled. They're stuck. They're sweating, okay? Or on the flip side, it could be a person with this I don't give a F type attitude or energy. You won't have to take the story how it resonates, okay? Somebody is very passionate about what was, yeah, look, the past. Somebody is passionate about the past. Somebody is very passionate about the past here. Stimulated by the introduction of a different element. Somebody stimulated someone to be in this nightmare energy. This the seven of swords, and or sorry, this nine of swords energy with this communication. Kind of communication was this? I'm like, dang, I heard you was the kipper. All right, there you go. What kind of what kind of communication was this? Despair. Somebody is in despair over a conversation. Because of an official person, official person may come towards them with a, with some kind of communication of despair. Okay, courthouse is here, but that's in reverse. Okay. There's a message of concern here with this courthouse, but courthouse is in reverse. So someone is not going to get what they're asking for. By this official person here, okay? But it has a lot to do with the past. That's the thing. Somebody is sweating bullets because of this message of concern. So we have this cross-pollinate here. Something has happened. Some kind of a chain of events have occurred or will be occurring, right? And this is causing this person to have lots of nightmares, to be in this nine of swords energy. Because of the message of concern, this person is dwelling in the past. But this person is very passionate about the past. So you have this official person that's coming towards them. And this official person could come towards them with this motion card where they don't have any emotion. Like, listen, I'm just doing what I got to do. This is my job. Whatever the case is, I got to do what I got to do. That's, you know what I mean? And with this communication here, communication of despair so somebody received bad news with this message of concern concerning a court case okay and that's why they bad food <laughs> shock they pers pe uh, perspiring <laughs> they did not expect it to go down the way it did in in um in court all right, look, it's over love, journey, like the journey to love is over. The journey with this person is over. You can't get any money out this person. You may be trying to, but you can't get any money out this person. Changes. There's going to be some negative changes that's going to happen. What is the negative changes that's going to happen? Give me that. Honey, I can't pick this up. Shocking message. Shot the brush, rust out. I keep hearing that song by um uh oh my god Pharrell Williams, uh Cloudy Chance of Meatballs. You might be dealing with the Aries here, okay. Somebody's in a very deep depressive state or will be in a deep depressive state. Somebody gambles or they just gamble their life. Or they take high risk with no rewards. Damn, somebody's going through emotional um, exhaustion right now. Somebody's very irresponsible. Check the DM. So you might receive a message within the DM. Okay, sudden changes. They want you to um, embrace the impact. I'm here. Embrace the impact. Somebody is definitely bareful, shocked, and freaking, uh, uh, somebody suffering in silence. Yeah, somebody's sweating a lot. Wow. Well, 
Somebody's unemployed. Somebody was doing candle magic. Oh, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I get it. All right. So someone is facing an eviction, right? So it feels like they may have to go to court for some type of an eviction. You got to get out my house, get out this house, apartment, whatever, right? Someone is using candle magic for the courts. Somebody's using candle magic for the courts. So this is something that has been riding them for the past. But they're sweating bullets, they're baffled, they're shocked, and they're perspiring because they have an official person that's coming towards them with no kind of emotion, no lackluster, no kind of nothing, right? And the cross pollinates something. It says, um, an introduction of a... a, a Something that is something is that is stimulated by the introduction of a different element. So by this official person coming towards them or coming towards you, it shifted the uh it shifted the situation into something different. This person is still stuck in the past, and because of this, they have this uh, message of concern. Okay, the courthouse, they're trying to do candle magic on the courthouse, but it's not gonna work. See, it's not gonna work. Uh, they are in complete despair. They're emotionally exhausted. This is the shocking message here, okay? Someone's very passionate about this. They're very irresponsible. You may have to check your DM. Someone may be trying to reach out to you. There's going to be some sudden changes here. Listen. Okay, yeah, eviction. Cha. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it right there. So I said Aries might be dealing with a Taurus. Okay. Aries. Definitely dealing with the Aries. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Um, a Pisces. Um uh, this is Capricorn. And Taurus again. All right. So if that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, subscribe, and that notification bell. Please note that even though I roll these um, zodiac signs, that does not mean um, that's the signs you're dealing with. It could be the signs that's in your birth chart as well, too. So keep that in mind. All right. Or it could be someone that you know that may be carrying this birth sign and you are aware of the situation. Okay. It can be uh, viewed in many different ways. Okay. All right. So that was for. The fire signs, all right? So, again, if it resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all right? Until next time, fire signs.